Je Donc Tombe avec moi. The 25th day, that's when I want to go live. I'm going to go live here for the first time in history and announce the winner of the LV raffle. I am. Bienvenue to my 25 days of vlogging. C'est moi, Jesse, your resident Francophile, and here on Cappuccinos and Consignment, I focus on lifestyle, travel, and finance. See vous play. Take a moment to like, subscribe, and follow. Follow me over on Insta. I have a blog, and I am desperately trying to find my way on TikTok. So, voyager dans le temps avec moi. Let's time travel. You all know that that is my favorite thing to do. I am home now, as you can see, but this is the present future past no this is the past because by the time you watch this it will have already happened but the mall is in the future pet let, let me just tell you what happened <laughs> This has not kicked in again. And once we go to the future past, you will see why I have no sense of space and time because I had a espresso martini at like 11 a.m. We must me, we do what we must. So went to the mall earlier. We set out initially to go have breakfast, but Juju the camera kid tried on his like winter boots that I got maybe a month or two ago and he has grown out of them already so on the way to breakfast we decided to go to an outlet mall and there was slim pickings like although i'm not a holiday person everyone else is because the malls were jam packed and barren may i add so i am home now i am going to build baby chinas that's my two-year-old and that is not her name it's just a nickname we gave her over on insta i am about to build her toy box about three or four vlogs ago I don't know when at some point during this series we went Juju the camera kid and I my 15 year old we went to about four stores looking for a toy chest because our living room has turned into a daycare there are toys everywhere and it's driving me mad and I didn't want like a kitty play box like I want something that looks like it would have been here even if I didn't have a wild toddler so that has arrived today I am going to go build it because fun fact like I love building things when I purchased my first home I built almost all the furniture there which is one of the reasons why I like Ikea don't hate me I know a lot of people do not like Ikea I love Ikea I actually love the food anytime I go there I always have a bite getting sidetracked so I'm going to go downstairs and build that while you all join us at the mall and by the time you come back hopefully I will have updates so let me take a sip and I will see you all in a bit all right ciao for now it is 11 a.m cheers i feel like it's appropriate because there's espresso in it you know
of chaos. Yeah, so whatever does not fit in the new toy chest has to go because I feel like a teething ring in there. Most of the things she don't even, she doesn't even use anymore. So, okay, let's get to work. Alexa, turn off. It's ridiculous. The designer bags have toys. Wait, no, no, no. We're not closing it yet. We have to give. We still have these on until we put like the baby bumpers. Ooh, I don't know how to use this thing. I guess that's good. I know she won't close it. I'll figure this out, but I'll see you all up in the dressing room. Ah! Woo! And we are back. So the husband ended up building the toy box. I did it, but I feel like I flipped one of the pieces upside down and the holes were in the wrong place. And you know, if you do that, that can throw off everything. Baby Chena woke up and started being Baby Chena. So I um, got her together. I actually started editing some of this. So after I finished recording, this should be an easy transition. It is half past six. So I am hoping to have this posted by I will say 7.15 or so, but that's really contingent on YouTube. Sometimes it takes forever to load. And um, <sighs> today is day 22. Oh my goodness. I am still in awe that I stuck with this. Last year, I tried, I attempted to do Vlogmas and I feel like I made it to day, and I feel like I made it to day I don't know, seven or so, but things were a lot different last year. So I am trying to extend myself, Grace. I can tell you, doing 25 days, although we're not at 25 yet, I feel like I'm close enough to share my experience, has taught me so much. If you all want to vlog about that, we can end like on that note, me doing a roundup of um everything that I've learned, because I have learned so much just this I won't even say short amount of time because it feels like it has been all my life like I have been vlogging all my life <laughs> but we will do that so if if you'd like but on the 25th day that's when I want to go live I'm going to go live here for the first time in history and announce the winner of the LV raffle I am so excited about that this is the fourth LV raffle that I have ever hosted. The first was a Pigaz. The second was, what was it? I don't know, maybe LV earrings. And I, I don't know, I, I am barely making it right now. But <laughs> this time around, I am raffling off the silver LV hoop earrings and another Neverfull, all brand new. I picked those up when I was in Potty a few weeks ago. And 
The, the last raffle I did the gold LV earrings and a Neverfull all brand new from Champs-Elysees and it's just it makes me so happy it makes me so happy and when the winners like tag me and send me reels or them wearing their pieces out in the wild it just makes me so delighted I am a huge advocate that like we all deserve luxury but in actuality or reality rather it's just, it's getting ridiculous. Like these prices are getting so ridiculous. And I had no clue that Mess and Me were even interested in raffles until I was getting ready to sell my Pigas because I wanted something else. Um, Wanted to sell my Pigas and a dear Mess and Me messaged me how she had always wanted one, but there was just no way she could financially do that. And I did a poll over on my IG stories inquiring, would Mess and Me be interested in doing a raffle? Because again, I had never done anything like that. I got such an overwhelming response that I have had to start capping the raffles because I don't want them to be unrealistic, like your chances of winning. Like this isn't the lottery. I don't want it to be a one in one million and not that one million people would enter, but I don't want the odds to be that against you so I keep it very, very small. I try not to post it on my feed because on my feed, I pop up on like the explore page and I don't really want strays entering. I want Mezzami to win the LV. So yeah, if you have not entered, do that today because I am going to end the raffle tomorrow so that I can um have everything ready for Christmas morning. I am, I get excited. I get so excited about these raffles because it, it's just, it makes me happy. It does. It really, really does. So I am going to in this vlog, edit, get it posted, check in with Mezami and My Mead. That's my subscription group over on YouTube. And I'm really excited. My really huge cork board just arrived. It's like the size of my window because I want to have a vision board for 2023. I have never done that before, but I feel like this is the time. So I will see you all, Dimon. All righty. Ciao for now.